Hey guys, it's Jalapeno here with another episode of Jalapeno Drywall. On today's project, I'm going to show you how to repair a drywall overcut around your ceiling can lights. So first thing you're going to want to do is remove the light bulb. Then you're going to remove the baffle trim. There's different types of can lights also referred to as recess lights. And they're all a little bit different, so you might have to remove it differently than how I did here. Get your utility blade and you're going to want to cut a beveled edge around the gap. Just be really careful. You don't want to cut yourself. And then I also recommend you get this product. It's called Easy Sand 5. A lot of people call it Quick Sit, Hot Mud. This stuff sits in five minutes, so you're able to apply multiple coats in a short amount of time. But honestly, you could just use regular joint compound. The only thing is that it takes forever to dry. And I probably wouldn't finish the job in one visit. So if you have the time to let it dry overnight, then just use joint compound. But if you want to finish the patch in one day, then get that Easy Sand 5. And as you can see here, I'm making sure I push in the product into the gap pretty good and then you're going to apply a little bit of fiber fuse tape you can also use mesh tape or just regular paper tape and then go ahead and put the tape over where the gap was don't worry about that tape sticking out too much we'll cut it out once it's dry then you're going to want to apply a coat of hot mud on top of the tape this is going to help cover up the tape that way you don't see it once you're done because that's kind of the point right you don't want to see the patch and i'm using my heat gun here to just speed up the process a little bit more i ended up doing three thin coats of the hot mud and now that it's set i can cut off the excess tape and now it's texture time You've probably seen me use the Easy Pro Texture System or the Hopper to shoot the texture, but today I'm going to use the Leco TG600 Hand Pump Texture Gun. And no, this is not a sponsored video for this pump. I've had it for a few years. I don't use it as often, but I thought it would make for a cool video. So here it goes. Oh, and Leco, if you do want to sponsor me, just send me an email. <laughs> but anyways, my favorite thing about this pump is that you don't necessarily need a compressor. So it's ideal for little repairs like this. I probably wouldn't use it to texture whole walls. You can if you want, but it's going to require a lot of pumping. I recommend you just get a hopper and the compressor if you're going to do whole walls like that. But for little repairs, it works perfect. You can also get the texture in a can. That works pretty good too. So once you shoot the texture, wait about 5 to 10 minutes before you knock it down. I like using the magic trowel to knock it down. You can also just use your regular metal putty knife. But I do recommend using that magic trowel. It's not as rough as the metal, obviously. Now that you've knocked down the texture, you're almost done. And if you want to get any of the tools or products I use here in this video, just go to the link in my bio, go to my Amazon storefront, and click on Drywall Repair Essentials. They are affiliate links, so I do benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use them. But anyways, now all we have to do is remove the plastic we stuffed into the can light, put up the baffle trim, and install the light bulb. You can also wait until it dries before you install the trim. But I wanted the homeowner to see how it was going to look. The homeowner is going to paint it tomorrow, and that's it. Jalapeno Solutions. Boom!